All right, so 2F is asking us to choose a sample of items for confirmation to determine if any other testing uh, is necessary to prove validity of those accounts. So we are gonna use a random sample, which is a pretty standard sampling technique used by accountants to conduct an audit. And we are gonna be extracting that random sample from the subset uh, that had uh, the accounts receivable as of March 31st, 2015. So we need to just go back to idea and select this, let me close this, and I'm going to switch to data. So if you're on a different uh, property, like whether it's a statistics, history, or comments, you can go back to the data this way. All right, so I'm going to do an analysis, and I am going to go ahead and select a random sample. So how do I randomize a, um, a sample? You go to this random, sam uh, random sample um, uh, um, tool and we are going to look at 20 transactions and I want to make sure that I'm using the same number seed. What is the number seed? The number seed is just a, a number that the algorithm that will create the sample will follow. So you want to make sure that you use the same random number seed. If you work to go back and say, you know, I, if you create a sampling and you come up with the, that number and then you want to go back to the same subset of number, let's say if you wanted to increase the number of records or decrease the number of records and you still want to include the first subset of or the first set of um, transactions that you randomly selected, then you would type in that specific seed number. Um, um, that's basically it. So in the future, this may be a, a, a good way to test you with your student ID, et cetera. All right, uh, so let's call this a, ooh, let's call this a random, let me see if, it, if it's asking us to do it in a particular uh, way, and it is, I think. Uh, let's see what it's asking us to do. So it's, let's call this sample of account receivable transactions. Gonna call random sample, um, or you can call it whatever way the actual book says. I'm gonna call it random sample for my purposes. Random sample of accounts field transactions, right? Then I'm gonna press OK, and sure enough, I have a random sample of account receivable that has uh, 20 transactions, uh, and this is still. Um, I can look at the dates are from this date to that date. Wonderful. Um, and then in terms of the numeric field, this is you know, representative. It's not too big. It's about 10%. That's, that's, that's a good sample then. What else are we supposed to look at? Well, if you look at the sample, let me go back to the data. Um, the database created a sample record number, which basically tells you which, which record number, which row you pulled from the original um, database that you had. All right, what else do we need to create from here? We just got to close it. So before we close it, let's print screen it. Um, and so I'll just print screen it. And this is supposed to be uh, to F. I have not been keeping up with my my information, but I'll, I'll do that later on. But just make sure that you keep doing that. So in this case, I will just put that on my to F and just close the transaction. And that's it. Um, all right. Let's close it.